Man, you guys know this guy Terrence Howard? He's like the star of Empire. Incidentally, that was the show that Jesse Smollett was on, which was a big story. <laughs> right. There's a bunch of crackpots on that show. Apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. But get a load of this guy Terrence Howard. Who just shares his innermost thoughts on He the was end. the original like a, uh, War Machine, too. In the Marvel right. movies. It was our 11th Emmy red carpet. Why am I listening so, to these I idiots talk? Say, We've had Happy hundreds yeah, well, of go away. another uh, link. Why am I, uh, what am I doing? Stop! Are you, <laughs> Are you kidding me? But What's wait, happening here? Because I think we're, the second link is here. I think the, the link was interview. originally timestamp. Yeah, I meant to yeah. timestamp yeah. it. Dude, that's my nightmare. If I pull up a link and it's KTLA talking. <laughs> right. In the house, Terrence Howard here. You <laughs> made huge headlines when you said after you complete these 15 episodes of Empire, you got to walk away for a while or forever. For good. I'm, I'm, I mean, everyone keeps trying to tell me, don't say it's forever, but I've spent 37 years pretending to be people so that people can pretend to watch and enjoy pretend. what I'm doing when I've made some discoveries in my own personal life with the science that you know, Pythagoras was searching for. I was able to open up the flower of life properly and find the real wave conjugations that we've been looking for for 10,000 years. Why would I continue, you know, walking on water for tips when I've got an entire generation to teach a whole new world? To that, that's a big remark. What, what do you intend to That's a big do? remark. Well, let me put it this way. All energy in the universe is expressed in motion. All motion uh, is expressed right. in motion. Let, let me put it in a way that uh, you can understand. <laughs> All motion in the in the universe are expressed in waves. All waves are curved, so where does the straight lines come from to make the platonic solids? Mm -hmm. There are no straight lines. Right. So when I took oh. the flower of life and opened it properly, uh, I found a whole new way of the flower of life just like a vagina? <laughs> He's talking about opening the flower of life. I imagine <laughs> just going down on, his, on a girl. He opened it properly. Or like someone's virginity, I don't know. <laughs> it's like what? I want to see inside this guy's basement. <laughs> Between spaces, that's... It's the thing that holds us all together. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're I didn't, Greg is I didn't do it too well. Oh, that's it. Oh, wait, there's more. What, what, what are you doing, KTLA? Let me watch the damn clip. I'm sharing that on, on Tuesday when I receive my star, I'm going to be able to prove that gravity is only an effect and not a force. I'm putting something on these YouTube where I will build the planet <laughs> yeah, Saturn yeah. without gravity and build the Milky They're like Way waiting for the punchline. You know, Did you also kidding. say you're getting your star on? Yeah. On the wall. Oh. I'm trying to steer it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to prove that gravity doesn't exist. Did you also get your star, you said? Oh. On the Walk of Fame, oh, which is interesting. How am I getting a star mm. when I've never for TV when I've never received an Emmy nomination for TV? You're a presenter. Oh, now. but he's just butthurt about the <laughs> Emmys ultimately. <laughs> All the big talk about changing the universe. He's like, yeah, I, I never got an Emmy, so who cares? Right, you can do whatever you want when you stand in front of that microphone. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I have no idea. I'm just, I'm just being honest and looking at it. You know, I would think an Emmy nomination would come first. Well, there you are. I tried to change it. Yeah, ultimately, he's just butter. He didn't what? get an Emmy. So there you have it. Terrence Howard. Actually, there's a lot of info here about Terrence. Uh, he's invented a new math. <laughs> he calls it Terryology. <laughs> Here's a tweet from 2017 where he proves that one times one equals two. Hilo, so That's get your heart out. Amazing. This is the proof of the world of science and mathematics that one times one equals two. Wow. There you have it. <laughs> I'm not going to get into all this, but. You want to go through all four pages of the yeah, proof? Yeah, there's, a, there's actually a lot here. <laughs> but it's really written like, I mean, dude. Remember, he, I'll read an excerpt for you guys. Remember the basic laws of common sense. I didn't know there was basic laws of common sense. <laughs> <laughs> Remember them, as we all know. The basic laws of common sense. If A times B equals C, then C must be some product of A and B. That is correct. So, yeah, in, so far, so good. Yeah, in order for 1 times 1 to be 1, the value of either A or B has to be missing from the final product of C. Let's not jump the gun just yet. <laughs> Let's try to add one to both sides of the equation. What? I feel like this dude never took arithmetic, and he's, like, just <laughs> figuring what? it out. He's like, math is crazy, you guys. 
I can't get into all this. Oh my god! But you can't call them well, A, B, and C. They're all the same. They're all A. You're talking about math. What I'm looking at is teriology. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually true. They're all the same number, so it's A times it's A. It's A times A. A, not A B C. That's a very good point, Elo. Wow, you just Elo-ologyed his ass. <laughs> we got to. Uh, he goes back even further. Interview with Rolling Stones in 2015 revealed he spent years working on his own logic. Which you oh recorded God. in a language of symbols called teriology. I love that. Wow. I love teriology. It's my favorite discipline. <laughs> Howard believes his discovery will change significantly the way that mathematics is taught for generations to come. Cool. And if Pythagoras were around to see his discovery, he would, quote, lose his mind. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I don't know how much I want to read. There's a lot of this. I <laughs> get the idea. Oh my god. Rolling Stone says Howard's apartment is filled with objects that resemble building blocks but are more complex. There are hemispheres, cubes, tetrahedrons, and flighty wings? That doesn't sound that tech. Some of the objects are as small as mice. Others as big as fire hydrants. Some are hanging, some are freestanding. A few larger ones lit from the inside with LED twinkle stars. God bless stereology, man. I wish Pythagoras was here to see it. <laughs> if he was around, Pythagoras would lose his mind. He would, quote, <laughs> lose his mind. I think and, Pythagoras was like a cult leader. So arguably... Was he? Yeah. I mean, like, he was obviously an important mathematician as well, but, like, yeah, there was, like, a whole, like, ancient Greek cult around him and stuff, and it's some weird shit. Well, back off him. We got a new stereology. Check out this sculpture that he's got in his house. You see the link? Which one? Highlight it. Howard's evidence of his... This? Oh, what on earth? <laughs> Here he tweeted out, Crazy is as crazy does. Do the math. Okay. What math are we doing exactly? Well, I bet you feel like an idiot now, Ethan. Look at that. <laughs> crazy is as crazy does. Do the math, fuckers. <laughs> I mean... He's got a past. It's time. really nice looking. <laughs> Give him that. Do the, yeah, but you're not doing the math. Do the <laughs> math. <laughs> That's true. I, this is the proof that... <laughs> also, I love that his life mission is to prove that one times one equals two. Yeah. Like, okay. So what? <laughs> <laughs> so what do we do now? It means that gravity's not real. Right. Is what that means. A direct correlation. Yeah. It's teriology.